This video introduces how to troubleshoot slow wireless speed. There are cases that the wireless speed does not meet customer expectations, and the speed test tool shows that the wireless speed is slow. The causes of slow wireless speed can be categorized into the following six types. For each of these six causes, this video provides corresponding troubleshooting solutions. In this video, we use an RGAP series access point to demonstrate the troubleshooting procedures in Weijia Cloud. First, verify the bandwidth provided by the ISP. If the bandwidth provided by the ISP is low, then it is expected that the wireless speed may be slow. In this case, upgrade your internet plan for a higher bandwidth. If the ISP provides a high bandwidth, but you still experience a slow wireless speed, then use an Ethernet cable to connect your PC directly to the same switch port to which the AP is connected, and perform a wired speed test. If the wired speed is high, then other factors need to be considered. If the wired speed is still low, then check the settings of the uplink device on the network, or verify that the ISP is providing the committed bandwidth. Log into Ruegia Cloud. On the home page, click a project name. Choose network, devices, and AP in sequence to access the AP list. Select the AP, then click Web CLI. On the page that is displayed, choose Connectivity Interface Status to view the speed of the uplink port on the AP. If the displayed speed matches the speed test result, then the measured speed is considered normal. If the uplink port of the AP supports a negotiated rate of 100 megabits per second, but the measured speed does not reach this value, then the measured speed is considered abnormal. On the Web CLI page, choose Client Associated Client to view the RSSI value of wireless clients. If the RSSI value is low, move the wireless client closer to the AP. Or increase the power level of the AP by 10% to 20% based on the current power, so that the wireless client can achieve a higher RSSI value. A wireless client speed is also subject to the negotiated rate. On the Web CLI page, choose Client Associated Client to view the negotiated rate of wireless clients. When the negotiated rate is low, you can set a wider channel width or select Wi-Fi 6 wireless mode or above to improve the wireless speed. If the AP supports Wi-Fi 6 or higher wireless modes, you can enable this mode and test again to check the negotiated rate. On the device list page, select the AP tab and then click eWeb. Set the tunnel duration, then click Create Tunnel to establish the tunnel. Click Open with Domain, Recommended, to access the web interface. Enter the username and password to log into the web interface. The default username and password is Admin and Admin. Click Config in the navigation bar, then select AP and click Radio. Set the radio protocol to an option that includes 11 acts, and then click Save. On the home page, click a project name. Choose configuration, device config, wireless, and radio in sequence. The radio page is displayed, on which you can configure the channel width. Set the channel width for the 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz band to a higher value, and then perform the speed test again. Return to the Web CLI page to view the negotiated rate. The negotiated rate displayed on the Web CLI page is higher compared to a 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz channel width of 20. Click RF on the AP list page to view the channel usage.
On the home page, click a project name. Choose configuration, device config, wireless, and radio planning in sequence. The radio planning page is displayed. Click configuration in the action column on the manual planning page. On the page that is displayed, change the channel of 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. Use Wi-Fi MOHO or other Wi-Fi analysis tools to check the optimal channel for the current AP in the environment, and use that channel. After changing the channel, perform the speed test again until the speed meets the requirement. When APs are deployed near each other or when the channel utilization of an AP is high, try reducing the power level of the AP by around 10% to 20% to reduce wireless interference. If the wireless client is located far from the AP, try increasing the power level of the AP by around 10% to 20% to improve the signal strength. If, after performing the above troubleshooting steps, the wireless client speed remains low, you can execute the following commands on the AP's web CLI or its local CLI to collect related information, and then contact Rita for technical support. To follow this issue, comment on our video or send an email to us. See you in the next video.